was good y'all rich sosa back in the building with another banger man so first things first before we go ahead and get started i just want to go ahead and say thank you god for giving me this opportunity thank y'all for coming through and man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you knew now anybody out there who wants to join rgf the rich gang family go ahead and turn on post notifications hit that like button and do not forget to leave a comment down below when complete so as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen today i am bringing y'all the top three new meta builds coming at y'all on nba 2k22 next gen now with every single one of these builds each of them are going to be able to get over 100 badges y'all now coming up at number one i got the rebounding wing for y'all but i'm telling you when it comes down to the rebounding wing compared to last gen as well as what we're on now current gen which is considered ps5 and the new xbox that's what i'm calling it as of now very different builds y'all now this rebounding wing you have the potential and you're going to be able to get pro contact dunks as you can see right there as we're upgrading the driving dunk then also when it comes down to the finishing on this build you're going to be able to get a good amount of badges in each area of this build now when it comes down to the shooting for those of you who have used rebounding wings in the past the shooting is still definitely going to be there with this version i'm telling you it's probably even better than anything what you have seen in the past so right there we're going to end it off with already starting with 50 badges between the finishing and then the shooting but now we're going to go ahead and mess with the playmaking a little bit go ahead and max out that ball handle and then also when it comes down to the speed with the ball you can max it out or go with the 76 paired up with the same exact number as the pass accuracy that right there is going to give us 24 badges again but now let's go ahead and check out what really makes this build a rebounding wing aka a lockdown defender so as y'all can see right there already off rip we're going to be able to get into the 20s when it comes down to the badge count for the defensive end but if you go ahead and upgrade that defensive rebound maxed out we're going to be able to get 26 y'all now the way that i'm setting this build up i promise you easily the best way to go about it i made it very versatile especially more importantly when it comes down to the dribbling on this build y'all now my main goal with each and every single build that i do bring to y'all is to make these builds to where they're able to do a little bit of everything when it comes down to the dribbling shooting importantly the defensive end and then the finishing now for the physicals i'm going to go ahead and max out that speed go with the 78 acceleration 70 vertical and then finally an 80 stamina right here this is pretty much what the build is going to be looking like. Now, if you feel like adjusting any numbers, just be sure to do so to where you are not changing the build name that we're getting. So as y'all can see with the setup, including the extra badges that you're going to be able to unlock from each season, as well as the plus four from that college championship or the rebirth, whichever one y'all want to call it, really is going to change up this build. So when it comes down to the takeovers, we get the slashing, shot creating, sharp shooting and then the playmaking the first one on this build i'm going with the sharp shooting paired up with the shot creating take over the break ankles and as y'all can see we have made the rebounding wing build and i'm really liking the comparison of jalen brown y'all now let's go ahead and take it a step further we're gonna go ahead and look at number two on this list two-way scoring machine y'all i'm telling you this point guard build is easily better than any playmaking shot creator build you have might have seen but also on top of all that the defense is still really solid on this build and on top of all that you're going to be able to break ankles as well as get a huge shooting boost on this build now there are actually two different versions of this build that you can make now the other version which i'm not making today has no pass accuracy but with this one gets more pass accuracy and you can really adjust the badges when it comes down to both versions just a little hint out there and right here y'all showed so much love on the first video so i really appreciate y'all doing that let's go ahead and get into the making so the point guard we're gonna go with the height of 6'2 weight of 174 with a 6'9 wingspan now once we go ahead and get into this breakdown of this build please 
be sure to follow along with what I'm showing y'all. I do not want y'all to get a different build name. That is going to be something that I'm not wanting for y'all. So let's go ahead and take a look at the finishing right here. We're getting all of the contact dunks. Yes, the elite as well. Now. When it comes down to the shooting, I'm going to go ahead and put that midi to an 85, three-pointer to an 84, and the only reason why these numbers look so specific is because if you change anything else higher or possibly even lower, the build name is going to change. Now, if you don't care for the build name, you really only like the setup, go ahead and do so, but I promise you, this is the right way that you want to go about it. Now, for the playmaking. We're going to go ahead and put this to an 89 ball handle, 92 speed with ball. And if you go about making this build the correct way, you're going to have the potential to get a 99 speed with ball in takeover with boost as well as running with a teammate that will have on floor general and especially defensive leader. But when it comes down to the defensive end, still really solid, maxing out that perimeter defense, you're also going to be able to get the potential to get a 99 steal. And honestly, the extra batch points on this build is really what's going to change up how this build is going to be looking now the physicals it's obvious you got to go ahead and max out that speed go with an 88 acceleration 80 vertical with a 90 stamina and for me this is pretty much what the setup is going to be looking like now like i said earlier if you do however feel like changing anything about the build do it after we get the build name together and i promise you you're going to be much happier now when it comes down to the takeovers the lockdown playmaking shot creating and more importantly the slashing so all of these are some really good takeovers to pick from the first one just so i could break ankles is going to be the shot creating takeover second really comes down to you i would go with the lockdown takeover either or is really good and as y'all can see we have made the two-way scoring machine and this build honestly really reminds me of jaw morant now Anything else, what y'all want out of this build, I promise you, this build is definitely going to deliver if you are looking for that perfect point guard build to make. And last up, to wrap it up, I'm going to go with the third build, going with a 7-3 center. The versatile paint beast with rim protector takeover. Now, if you're still here watching, you made it more than halfway through the video and you still didn't hit that like button, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Go ahead and do that right now. Hit that like button. Let's get at least 100 likes on this video. Go ahead and hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications so you can join the Rich Gang family. And be sure to leave that comment down below. Now, let's go ahead and get into the making of this build. So obviously, we're going to be going with the center position. Now, if you were paying attention, you're already going to know. That we are making this build at 7-3 weight. We're going to go ahead and put this to 230. And then for the wingspan, I'm going to be going with 8-1, 8 feet, 1 inch. I'm telling you, this is a really crazy defensive all-around build. So, when it comes down to each and every single stat on this part of the build, Please be sure to follow along once we make the build name, then you can go about making your own changes to it because I get told so much that the build names are changing when you say that you follow the stats that I'm doing. But again, a lot of people like to change up stats. Sometimes I even do it myself and get a different build name. That is what I don't want to happen to y'all. So be sure to just follow along. Pause it if you need to rewind whatever it is that you need. Just do it so y'all can make the build together with me. Now, right there, already on the finishing side, 99 standing dunk. 99 post control, essentially, you're going to be able to also get a 99 close shot, 35 finishing badges, then just to be able to be a threat from shooting instead of upgrading that three-pointer, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that mid-range, that way you can play more so in the inside, not really having to worry about come out too deep, then we're going to get 11 badges there. 14 for the playmaking, we definitely got to go ahead and upgrade that pass accuracy, 4 bullet passer, and then finally for the defensive end, we get 34. 99 interior defense, 99 block, as well as a 99 defensive rebound with stats included when it comes from the boost. Now, for the physicals, we're maxing out every single thing and then ending it with a 90 stamina. So, from here, this all really comes down to the way that you want to go about things, but I promise you, this setup is easily the best center build that you're going to be seeing all year, unless you want to go ahead and make it a little bit more versatile, upgrading that three-pointer, you can do that, but honestly, I would go about the physicals a completely different way.
All we have is the takeovers left over, so I'm going to leave it up to y'all. But, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Go ahead and turn on post notifications to join the Rich Gang family. Hit that like button and be sure to drop a comment down below. And as y'all can see, we have made the versatile pain beast. I just want you to know that I appreciate every one of you. I love y'all and I thank y'all. Another banger dropping tomorrow. Happy Sunday. And, man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Thank God and Rich out.